For the CH2N2 Lewis structure, carbon is in group 14, sometimes called 4. It has four valence electrons, plus one for hydrogen, but we have two hydrogens, plus five for nitrogen, and we have two nitrogens for a total of 16 valence electrons for the CH2N2 Lewis structure. Let's draw the Lewis structure pretty much as the formula suggests. We'll have a carbon, and we'll have hydrogens around it, and then we'll have the two nitrogen atoms. We have 16 valence electrons for the CH2N2 Lewis structure. We'll put two between atoms to form chemical bonds. We've used eight. Then around the nitrogen, 10, 12, 14. And we'll put the last two on this nitrogen here, 16. So we've used all 16 valence electrons. You can see that the nitrogen on the end has eight valence electrons and both of the hydrogens have two, so the outer shells are full for those atoms. However, the carbon only has six, and the nitrogen only has six, so their octets are not complete. Let's move these two valence electrons here to form a double bond with carbon. The nitrogen still has six valence electrons, but now the carbon has eight valence electrons, and we're still only using the 16 valence electrons we have for the CH2 N2 Lewis structure. Let's move two more, and we'll take these here and put them right here to form another double bond between the two nitrogens. The nitrogen on the end still has eight valence electrons, but now that nitrogen in the center has eight as well. So at this point, we've used 16 valence electrons, and we've given octets to the carbon and the nitrogens, and then the hydrogen has two valence electrons, so its outer shell is full as well. So this is the Lewis structure for CH2N2, and this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.